I'm pretty sure you might not know this. Hey guys, this is Salim and today let's see what's GSI. I know a lot of you must be knowing about GSI but the two of you that saw the title of the video and clicked on it, let me tell you guys. Well, GSI stands for Generic System Image. Basically, these are those files which are universal across all Android phones which, are, which support Treble. Now Treble, let's start from the beginning. Now Android, the largest operating system on mobiles and the best operating system, though I might be biased on the second part, has some complaints. That's updates because they are damn slow. I'm not talking about Google with their Nexus line, which was the Nexus line and the now Pixel line. I'm talking about other manufacturers like Samsung, HTC, LG, etc. So Google hopes to solve this with Project Treble. Earlier, it used to work something like this. The whole Android code was made up of two parts. That's the OS framework and low level hardware implementation, or you can say vendor implementation. Now, these both were dependent on each other, like they were stick together. So if you have to update the whole code, you have to update both the parts. And that's a lot of work, believe me guys. Now with Project Treble, it's still divided into two parts, but both the parts are independent of each other. So if Google pushes out an update, it just had to, has to update the OS framework and the vendor implementation can stay like it is. So it will work on older vendor implementations. To put it in full context, let's just say your device is running Android 7.0 or earlier. So when Google pushes out an update, not only the OS framework has to be updated, but the vendor implementation, which basically lies with the chip maker that's Qualcomm or MediaTek or Exynos has to be updated too. This slows down updates. So let's say you have a Samsung phone, which a lot of you guys have and Samsung decides to update one of its phones. And let's say Samsung has updated the OS framework. So it has to wait for Qualcomm to update the vendor implementation so that the update could work. Now Samsung has Exynos variant as well as Snapdragon variant. Let's say Qualcomm updates the vendor implementation, but Exynos that lies with Samsung does not update it. So what Samsung does is that to keep the phones with parity, Samsung doesn't update the Snapdragon variant also. So a good example is that recently a news came out that the Exynos 8955 that was in Galaxy S8 supported 4K60, but since Qualcomm Snapdragon A35 did not support 4K at 60, Samsung abandoned 4K, 4K60 on the Exynos model. So that both devices would be similar. So yeah, coming back to the topic, so Android updating Android 7.0 wasn't easier because the OEM or Samsung HTC had to update it and the chip maker has to update the software in order for the whole update to work. So this will ensure timely Android security updates. Now, the other thing to note is that with Android 8.0, Google has made sure that every phone that has Android 8.0 out of the box supports Treble. So that's a pretty good thing. So there are some facts about Treble that you should know. So if your device never gets Oreo, you probably will never get Treble. And the development of aftermarket ROMs on XC is quite good. So if your device is quite popular, it might get Treble unofficially. Finally, the last question, will Treble ensure that my phone gets updated regularly? <laughs> That's a no, because at the end of the day, the updates lie in the hand of the vendor and the OEM, Treble just made it easier for OEMs to update the phone. So that's all you need to know about Treble. So have I missed something? Do let me know in the comments below. And since you're commenting, do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Salim and I'll talk to you in the next one.